Hello, hello, one too many here, and today I'm going to be going over a basic tutorial on how to tech your Marines properly in Marine Arena. Now when I talk about teching Marines, I'm not necessarily talking about these upgrades right here, the health, damage, or defense upgrades. These are more of what I would consider synergy upgrades because getting one of them affects all of your units. Instead, I'm talking about three upgrades in particular. The, Mer the Marine Spawn upgrade, which gives you 50% more Marine Spawn, roughly the marine range upgrade which increases your marines range from a minimum range which they start at which is 4.5 to their maximum of 6 and the marine attack speed upgrade which will reduce their attack speed by 0.1 for every upgrade you buy. Now these these upgrades right here actually uh, there's three of them although you can only see the first one right now and they increase by 100 minerals after each one you buy so the first one costs 300 the second one costs 400 and the last one costs 500 First off, I want to start by covering this upgrade right here, the Marine Spawn Increase. Now, when I first started playing this game, this was one of the upgrades I thought was like super powerful or something, and I would always try and like rush, rush to get it in the first few games I played at least, and I thought that was the way to go because in my mind, more Marines meant more damage output, I was able to bring in more kills, and that, that to me sounded like a really good idea. The problem with that logic, however, is that not only does this upgrade increase your Marine Spawn, but it also increases their bounty. Marine's bounty starts at 2 and this this upgrade will increase it to 3. And the logic behind that is this upgrade was designed for people that were teching Marine. So so you're only supposed to get this upgrade once your Marines are teched. So it's kind of like a, a trap almost. If you get it too soon you end up overfeeding your enemies because not only are you producing more Marines but they're giving out more bounty. So the trick with this upgrade is really wait to get it. And uh, the perfect time that I think to get it is once you have these uh, three range upgrades, so you're at your max range, and I'll go into why those, uh, that upgrade uh, in particular is very important in just a little bit. And then you also want to wait until you have about 85 health. And the reason I would wait until you have more health is because otherwise they're just going to die too easy, which means that your enemies are going to get more bounty for every kill, and they're going to get stronger uh, because of that. So now let's go into the other two upgrades. Okay, so here we are in Excel, and you can kind of see I've got some charts going on here and a couple graphs down below, and these are mainly concerning the attack speed upgrade. So I'll get to that in a second. First, I really want to touch on the range upgrade, and I don't need any charts or anything to go over this because it's very simple. Get your range upgrades before you get your attack speed upgrades, and like I said before, get your range upgrades before you even get your Merc or Marine spawn upgrade. And the reason you want to do this is because if your marines are staying at 4.5 range and they're going up against mercenaries that have 6 range it means that they literally have to walk into the unit getting fired at for one and a half unit squares before they are able to shoot back themselves so that range upgrade is not going to only increase their damage output against like a, a melee unit but it's also going to increase the amount of time that they're going to spend alive dishing out damage so always 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 get your range upgrade for your marines. If you have more than six damage upgrades on your marines and you're using them in battle without that range upgrade, you are you are almost a hundred percent of the time feeding the enemy your marines because they will just probably end up dying before they even get to shoot. Okay, so enough about that. Let's go into the little bit more complicated attack speed upgrade. And I say a little bit more complicated because on the surface level it really seems like, well of course if you're getting an attack speed upgrade you're going to be doing more damage. But there's also that mineral cost that's really associated with that attack speed upgrade. I mean, if you were to get all three, you're looking at 1,200 minerals. And so if you think a little bit more in depth, you, you start thinking, well, couldn't I be getting more damage upgrades instead of that attack speed upgrade? Uh, those attack speed upgrades, to, and then I would be doing more damage that way. Well, it might seem that way, which is why I kind of made these charts and these graphs to figure it out for myself before I actually talked about it too much. And the result I came up with or I didn't just come up with, these graphs kind of prove themselves, um, is that you, you basically really, really want to get all of your attack speed upgrades once you hit 12 damage on your Marines. Once you're basically available to, and you can see on this stimmed uh, DPS per upgrade, and I'm only doing stimmed DPS uh, in these charts because really once you're teching your Marines, they should always be stimmed. And just to kind of prove that, I did a little uh, a time to kill chart with Marines that were stimming against Marines that weren't stimming and whatnot, but the end result was that you you want to get stim once you're teched. It's pretty obvious, but I, I did that little thing over there just to prove it, and let me tell you, it's the truth. Um, so with the 
the attack speed upgrade, you can see right here that for whatever reason, once you get all three attack speed upgrades, your damage just shoots through the roof. And it's not really for whatever reason, I kind of know why already. It, it has to do with the way that stim works, but I'll leave that for a more advanced tutorial maybe later on. So this, this graph is really nice. It shows how many upgrades you have and where you would be damage-wise. And the attack speed upgrade, it doesn't start uh, all at the same point. You can see they kind of uh, taper off every two. They keep going. And the reason for that is because you can't get your third attack speed upgrade until you have at least six damage upgrades. This is a nice chart, but it's not really representational of what's going on because it doesn't incorporate the mineral cost. And for that reason, I made this uh, stim DPS per mineral cost chart right here. And you can see exactly the points where these sync up mineral cost wise. And you know, you see for the first one, uh, it's right here in red, the first attack speed upgrade. It actually doesn't provide much benefit um, if you base it on mineral cost. You could have, instead of, instead of getting this attack speed upgrade, the first one, if you got it right when you were able to, you could have got another, another damage upgrade. And I, I would definitely recommend that because those damage upgrades actually synergize with your mercenaries. And for that reason, I wouldn't worry about getting them too soon. Really, instead, I would focus on this right here, this point right here, when you can get all three upgrades. So if you're teching marines, my advice would be to, once you're able to do 12 damage and your marines are teched, get all three attack speed upgrades. You can see just how it kind of skyrockets after that. Once you get that third one, it literally has this huge jumping point right here. And that's all there really is to say about that. So if you have six damage upgrades and you're doing 12 damage, damage that's your actual output on marine damage, then you want to have all three attack speed upgrades. If you stop at two and you think to yourself, well, that third one is kind of too expensive. It's 500 minerals and it's giving me the same thing as everything else. And that's, that's like a diminishing return. You are, you are very, very wrong as this kind of chart proves right here. It's just how effective that final one is. It is, it is a threshold breaker where you, when your marines just start doing ridiculous amounts of damage per second. So now just to do a brief recap of the things covered in this video. Uh, you can see the first one right here, Marine Range Upgrade. Always get your Marine Range Upgrade before you get your Marine Attack Speed Upgrade. Always, always, always. And the second one down here, do not get your Marine Spawn Upgrade before you have all Range Upgrades or you will feed. You will make your enemies stronger and the game will get harder and harder for you because your Marines are basically just walking to their death and you're feeding your enemies. And then the last one down here, after 12 damage on your Marines, get Attack Speed Upgrades if you are teching marine of course. If you're not teching marine then just continue doing whatever tech path you're doing. Obviously this video probably wouldn't be for you because it's about teching marines. And that's that's basically about the main things or the, the main basics to teching your marine. In the, fu in the future I'll do some more advanced tutorials on maybe like when in a, in a health upgrade is better to get than a damage upgrade and I also plan on covering a little bit of upgrade efficiency which is a post on the forums about that and I'll, I'll link that in the comments below until I am able to actually do the video on that. And I hope you guys like this video. If there's anything else you would like to see or anything you'd want to see someone kind of go into detail about and it's within reason, I will put a little Excel sheet together or whatever and I'll, I'll do a video for it and I'll get it out there. Uh, just let me know and it will happen. Until then, this is OTM and I'll see you later.